So moving on to an example for the long division of polynomials, we have to use long division to solve 11x plus 2x squared plus 12x cubed plus 14 divided by 2 plus 3x. So this here is our dividend and this here is our divisor. Now if you haven't watched the long division overview video, I suggest you do that before going over this example. Now what's the first thing that we always have to do? We always have to make sure that the dividend and the divisor is arranged from highest degree to lowest degree when we divide it. So if we rewrite the division. Let's take the divisor, rearrange it from highest degree to lowest degree. So this 2 plus 3x we would rewrite as 3x plus 2. And then notice how this dividend here we can also rearrange. The 12x cubed should come first because that's the highest exponent. Then the 2x squared, then the 11x, then the 14. Right, so always make sure highest degree to lowest degree. And then we follow the same steps that we followed in the video before. So we check how many times can 3x go into 12x cubed. Well, if we do that on the side, 12x cubed divided by 3x, well, 12 divided by 3 is 4, and then x cubed divided by x is just x squared, right? We're uh, minusing the exponents. So 4x squared goes here. Then 4x squared times 3x is 12x cubed. And then 4x squared times 2 is 8x squared. Now we subtract these. So 12x cubed minus 12x cubed, that's just 0. 2x cubed minus positive 8x squared, that gives us negative 6x squared plus, And then we bring down the 11x and the 14. Again, doing this part vertically, there you can be prone to doing a lot of mistakes. I see students making mistakes all the time with the subtraction. So as I mentioned in the overview video, it's best to initially maybe start doing it on the side. So you take the dividend and you subtract this, uh, this expression here in brackets. So then it just becomes a lot more easier to see. So then this negative one we distribute inside so that becomes 12x cubed and then negative 8x squared. All right? there's like a negative one in front and I multiplied it by the 12x cubed and the 8x squared. So the 12x cubed, the 12x cubed, those net out to zero. 2x squared and negative 8x squared, those are uh, like terms so that ends up being negative 6x squared and then we rewrite the 11x plus 14 as is. So this result is the same as over here. Now how many times does 3x go into negative 6x squared? Well we can do that on the side so negative 6x squared, the first part of that new dividend divided by the first part of the divisor. So negative 6 divided by 3 is negative 2, and then x squared divided by x is just x. So it goes in negative 2x times. Negative 2x times 3x, that ends up being negative 6x squared. And then negative 2x times 2, that ends up being negative 4x. So when we subtract this whole expression, the negative 6x squared minus minus, that ends up being positive. So negative 6x squared plus 6x squared is just 0. 11x minus minus 4x, that's 15x. And then we just bring the 14 down. So that ends up being 15x plus 14. Again, doing this subtraction here on the side just to make sure that this result of 15x plus 14 is correct. So negative 6x squared plus 11x plus 14 then distribute the negative one inside the bracket, that ends up being plus six x squared, then negative one times negative four x, that ends up being positive four x. Negative six x squared plus six x squared, that uh, nets out to zero. And then these are like terms, 11 x plus four, four x is uh, 15 x, and then we're just left with the 14. So that's the same result that we got before. And then we just see how many times does 3x go into 15x? Well, that goes in five times, right? Because 15x divided by 3x, the x's cancel out. 15 divided by 3 is just 5. So then 5 times 3x plus 2 is 15x. 5 times 2 is 10. 
And then when we minus these, I'm not going to do it on the side again. You can do it on the side just to double check. 15x minus 15x, that's just 0. 14 minus 10 is 4. And 3x plus 2 cannot go into 4, so 4 ends up being our remainder. Now taking our result and rewriting it into a nice division statement, we got the dividend of 12x cubed plus 2x squared plus 11x plus 14 is equal to the divisor, 3x plus 2, times the dividend that we got, 4x squared minus 2x plus 5, plus our remainder of 4. So the biggest trick in this example was making sure that we took our original polynomials, the dividend and the divisor, and we rearranged it from highest degree to lowest degree before performing the division.